Today, Nali Elementary would like to recognize all of our December Leaders of the Month. We are so proud of these students for their outstanding leadership in the classroom, playground, lunchroom, and in always displaying the seven habits at Nolly School. Today, I will recognize each student in each grade level and tell you a little something about them. Okay, starting off in kindergarten in Mrs. Parton's room, we have Jace Romano. Jace is proactive. Jace lights up our room with his smile and fun personality. He is patient, kind, uplifting, and works hard every single day. Way to go, Jace. Also in Mrs. Parton's room, we have Felicity Zapp, who is proactive. Mrs. Parton said, wow, Felicity always does her best. She takes her time and is always positive when we are working. I also have to highlight she is kind-hearted and that brightens our classroom. Way to go, Felicity. In Mrs. Craig's class, we have Oya Hessel, Oya, who is proactive. Oya is a hard worker. She has learned to be proactive and puts full scenes first when completing her work. Aya often shows her leadership and point out to her peers the why he we do things in school. Thank you, Aya. Also in Mrs. Craig's class, we have Ryan Tomeko, who is also proactive. Ryan often sets the bar high now. By demonstrating readers' behavior for whole peers, making good choices is especially important now. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, in Mrs. Yukowski's class, we have Aurora Ranella, who demonstrates all of the seven habits. Aurora follows all of the seven habits each day. She proactively completes her work. She is a great friend and includes others. And she makes our classroom more <coughs> vibrant with her creativity. In, also in Mrs. Zukowski's class, we, we have Luke Conan, who, who is proactive. Okay, Luke Conan. Luke always does the right thing, even when no one is looking. Luke is patient, kind, and always works hard. Way to go, Luke. In Mrs. Wakin's class, we have Toby Sunset. And who is proactive? Toby is beginning to stay focused on his schoolwork. He is taking charge of his own learning. <coughs> Way to be proactive and lead by example, Toby. Way to go. In, in, also in Mrs. Rankin's class, we, we have Alice Beckel who synergizes. Okay. Alice um, is in Mrs. Rankin's room, and Mrs. Rankin said, Alice is a friend to all. She is always willing to play or work with anyone. Way to synergize with everyone in our room, 103. You make our class a happier place, Alice. Thank you. Okay, moving on to first grade. In Mrs. Beard's class, we have Paxton Elder, who puts four scenes first. I am so proud of how hard Paxton and has been working this year in first grade. Paxton puts full things first by making sure he's listening and following direction and, and by also completing his work. He has also been working hard at home um, and, and it shows. Awesome job, Paxton. Okay, also in Mrs. Beard's class, we have Adam McKinnon who begins with the end in mind. Mrs. Beard says, I choose Adam for beginning with the ending mind. Adam has been working so hard recently. He on completing his work and is doing his best listening. There have even been times that I told him he could come back to a task, and he chooses to keep working until it was finished. He has been doing such a great job in first grade. I'm so proud of him. Keep the great walk. Way to go, Adam. In Mrs. Bowser's class, we have, have Maddox Miller, who, who, who does all the seven habits. Maddox is a quiet leader who, who is kind, caring, and helpful to all of his classmates. He always puts forth his best effort. Way to go, Maddox. In 
Also in Mrs. Bell's class, we have Wagen Ma Hedog, who also does all the seven habits. Wagen is always willing to lend a helping hand. She is polite, respectful, and leads by example. Wagen walks. Way to go, Reagan Mydock. Okay, in Mrs. Fiesler's class, we have Kai Cash, who begins with the end in mind. Kai is a role model student in our room, and she always puts her learning first and works every day to grow her brain. Way to go, Kai. Also in Mrs. Fiesler's class, we have Shelby Kistner, who is proactive. Shelby is new to Nolly and has worked hard to learn how to grow her brain too, improve her attitude, and always be kind. Way to go, Shelby. In Mrs. Wetter's class, we have Hannah Mitchell, who is proactive and puts full things first. Hannah is a ray of sunshine in room 105. She comes to school happy and ready to learn each day. Mrs. Rector said, I am so proud of you, Hannah. We also have Lydia Hancock. All right, Lydia Hancock, she... Put first things first. Okay. Mrs. Rector said Lydia is a leader in room 105. She has a positive attitude, puts forth her best effort in all her work, and is willing to lend a helping hand. Congratulations, Lydia. All right, moving on to second grade. In Mrs. Grandin's class, the first student is me, Morsi Jones. I am proactive, and, and I seek first to understand and I always strive to make proactive choices throughout the day. And this includes my actions as a learner and, and as a friend. I work so hard to be such a proactive, Pos- positive force in our room. What a blessing. All right, Mrs. Grandin said it was a blessing to have Mercy as a learner and friend in her classroom. All right, also in Mrs. Grandin's class, we have... Lucy Vandergriff. She puts full things first. Mr. R and I always appreciate appreciate how Lucy works so hard each day and trying her very best. She always, he's, she always, she is always putting first things first in our classroom. And we really appreciate Lucy and her I can attitude. All right, Lucy has an I can attitude. Way to go, Lucy, and way to go, Mercy, my helper today. In Mrs. Van Dorsen's class, I have Connor McCall. Connor puts first things first. Connor puts first things first by always turning in his homework, participating in class, passing his time test, and working hard every day. Way to go, Connor. Also in Mrs. Van Dorsten's class, I have Caleb Cooper, who synergizes. Mrs. V said Caleb synergizes by helping his classmates and her all the time. Keep up your hard work, Caleb. In Mrs. Simon's class, we have Lane Johnson. Lane thinks win-win. Lane has a positive attitude and thinks about others. Keep up the hard work. Also, also in Mrs. Slimax's class, we have Liliana Finch. Liliana Finch seeks first to understand. Liliana is kind and thoughtful friend and classmate. She often offers others a helping hand or words of en- encouragement. encouragement. Good job, Liliana. In Mrs. Cherick's class, we have Wilson Cease. Wilson is proactive, and he sharpens the saw. Wilson does the right thing without being asked, works well in groups, and always finds meaningful ways to to help others, especially Miss Truex. Keep being a leader, Wilson. We also have Ayla Ramirez in Mrs. Truex's class. Ayla is is proactive. Ayla has been been a super listener and is becoming more responsible each day we earn in school keep it up Ayla way to go Ayla Ramirez 
All right, moving on to third grade, our first student was nominated by Mrs. Melville, and it is Sean Durant. Sean begins with the end in mind. Mrs. Melville said, Sean demonstrates begin with the end in mind because he has been making sure that he has his glasses on during reading time so he can clearly see the words. As a result, Sean's reading is improving. Way to go, Sean. Okay, and in Mrs. Braley's class, we have... Scarlett Cheska. Scarlett is proactive. Scarlett has a can-do attitude and always tries her best. She has been using strategies to improve her comprehension, and we are so proud of her. Keep it up. Good work. Way to go, Scarlett. Also in Mrs. Braley's class, we have Claire Hoskinson, who puts first things first. Mrs. Braley said, Claire is always doing the things she has to do, and she stays focused on tasks that are the most important. She strives to do her best every day and is kind to others in room 111. Remember, Claire, your superpower is your heart. Keep showing it every day. All right, in Mrs. Stassens' class, we have Zane Stevenson, who is proactive. Zane has been working extra hard at home all year in math. He takes the time to do all of the extra practice, even when he has a very busy swim schedule. Way to put in the extra effort, Zane. Also, we have Briny Holstein in Mrs. Stassens' class, who puts first things first. Mrs. Stassens said, I am so proud of Briny for working on getting better each day and growing her own confidence. She sees that a little bit at a time will get her great gains. Keep working hard, Briny. In Mrs. Esterly's class, we have Jessie Masuka. Jesse puts first things first. Jesse is a gift to our this classroom. He is extremely helpful to all the students. He is a role model by always organizing his time and making sure to work before playing. We also have Brooklyn Wilson. Brooklyn begins with an end in mind. Brooklyn is an important part of this classroom. She works very hard to the to be a good citizen by finding ways to help the classroom run smoother. Way to go, Mrs. Esterly's students. Also in third grade, we have in Mr. Straub's class, Grace Johnson, who puts first things first and seeks first to understand. Mr. Straub said Grace has really been working hard to grow her brain. She is really working to try a strategy before asking for help. If she is not successful the first time, she is willing to take advice on how to change her strategy to be successful. Way to go, Grace. We also have Jeffrey Alt in Mr. Straub's class who is proactive and seeks first to understand. Jeffrey really is diving right into his work these days. He's putting in a lot of effort into reading and following directions. If he forgets to do some of the directions, he will fix his answers and take suggestions to do better. Way to go, third graders. Okay, moving on to fourth grade. Our first student was nominated by Mrs. Millville, and it is Evan McDonald. Evan synergizes. Mrs. Millville said Evan demonstrates the habit synergizing when he participates in whole, gla whole class instruction by answering questions and working with his partners during reading class. Mrs. Gardner's in Hansel's class, we have June Stillwell. Stillwell. June thinks win-win. June is a leader in room 120. She is such a positive person, always seeking first to understand and learn. June is an amazing fourth skater, and all of her teachers are proud of her. Way to go, June. Also nominated by Mrs. Gardner and Mrs. Hansel is Brayden Wilborn, who demonstrates all the seven habits. Mrs. Gardner said Brayden is having an incredible fourth grade year. His positive, hardworking attitude has made him a leader in our room. Everyone is so proud of all of his accomplishments this year. Way to go, Brayden. In Mrs. Toth's class, we have Lana Jovanovic, who is proactive. Lana works hard to make sure she is always ready for school and so helpful to everyone else as well. Great job, Lana, at being a proactive fourth grader. And I must add, she is an awesome kindergarten bus helper. Also in Mrs. Toast's class, we have Landon Falenga. Landon seeks first to understand. Landon is such a kind fourth grader. He is helpful to all of his classmates as he seeks first to understand. Thank you, Landon. Okay, in Mrs. Oaks's class, we have Samantha Hicks, who is proactive. Samantha takes initiative. She also takes responsibility for her actions. Mrs. Oaks said, I am so proud of her good character. 
Also in Mrs. Oaks's class, we have John Widmer. John puts first things first. Mrs. Oaks said John is disciplined and organized. He spends his time on things that are the most important. His responsible actions set a good tone for the rest of the class. Way to go, John. In Mrs. Matson's room, we have Braden Johnson, who is proactive. Braden is a great leader. He comes in school he comes to school prepared with a good attitude and ready to learn. Keep it up, Braden. Way to go, Braden. Okay, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our two leaders that helped with the video today. Our first speaker was Mercy Jones in second grade, and we also had third grader Reagan Graham. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations to all of the Nolly Leaders of the Month. The entire staff here at Nolly is so proud of you. Please keep up the great work and your outstanding leadership. Way to go.